What is up, Sooner Nation? Welcome. Uh, Saturday night, Sooner Surge, double trouble coming at you. Where, yeah, the OU softball team falls two to one to Texas. And Uncle Charlie says, by rule, it was a good call. Absolutely agree. That ball was thrown toward the third base side, Jason. And that is why that obstruction call was not made. It was, it was the right call. I mean, I, I'm shocked that she made that play and held onto the ball. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, it was a great play by the catcher. They made great plays all night, really, Texas did, I thought, defensively, which has oh, been a struggle for them. They made seven or eight really, really good plays. Uh, and yeah. it took every one of them to beat OU. Uh, OU wasn't at their best at the plate. They were just barely missing some. <laughs> Look, Nicole May allowed two runs, but she settled back down, got two strikeouts in the following inning. This game was on. This game was on the on the bats. They just couldn't get them uh, going enough. But I, I am saying that that call was absolutely right. Yeah, but you know, I, I know it went in OU's favor tonight. But the, the leaving early, the rules got to be changed. Got to be changed. It's it's dumb. It's the dumbest rule. One, one of the dumbest rules I've ever seen in any sport. Jay, I, I I agree. It's Let's a dumb call, okay, rule. Jeremy, on that play, if she left early, call her out, count the runner at third. No, she had nothing to do with it. Jay, I agree. But what I'm saying is, if it's the rule and you know the rule, don't leave early. I agree. It was stupid. Like, just stand on the bag. I agree, Jeremy. But I just don't understand. On that, on that play, and on that, what they're saying, leaving early, that runner should be out. The runner ahead of them that was going to score anyway should not be out. It's went against yeah. OU a few times this year, too. I hate it. I hate the rule. Shout out to Juan Blero for checking in from Okinawa. Uh, Jay Johnson, I, I I agreed with sending Maya Bland. Yeah, and, you are taken you, out of the best hitter's hands. Okay, I, I'll tell you why. First off, Maya Bland has really good speed. Second of all, uh, they had to throw a nearly perfect – Relay and, and not to mention, she got a good hop off the wall. So I, I'm not going to blame Gasso for sending Bland on that one. I would have loved to have seen Jada at the plate, though. Well, Jay Johnson OU says he likes the rule. I, I don't know what he – you like the runner leaving early rule? I don't like it. No, he said that I'm wrong, too. Hey. Listen, I'm I'm only wrong because they got him out, got her out. Yeah, I, in that sense, I am. But I I would have sent, I absolutely would have sent uh, Maya Bland there. Yeah, and you're right. They they just could not. I mean, one for seventeen going in the seventh inning after the first inning. So they just never got the bats going. They weren't striking out. They just kind of playing Adam ball a little bit. And Monty, Monty, you're absolute Monty, absolutely right. This game, in the grand scheme of thing, isn't going to uh, thwart OU from what their, their goal is, which is the winning a, a natty fourth in a row. Two years ago, they lost in Austin, right? 2022, came back and won it. Now, I will hey. say that now, tomorrow, the possibility of losing a series is up there. But uh, but uh, I agree with Rafe, Rafe that run rules is, is loading. And hey, Jake Johnson, what are you talking about when it what, should have sent the runner home? Cassidy Pickering went back to tag with two outs. That's on her. That's not on Patty Gasso. Hey, Jeremy, let, let, let me clarify something on the rule I'm talking about. It, it's when the runner leaves early. And I people hear people saying, well, when it goes in your favor. Jeremy, nobody on here in the chat, I don't think anybody on here can agree that that rule – should eliminate the runner in front of them. For why does a runner at third get go back to third and the batter comes back up? She got a hit. I agree, Jay. But you can't, I agree. You can't change it. Hey, but Uncle Charlie, that's what I'm saying. That was not on Gasso. That ball, Cassidy Tiari hit the ball. Cassidy Pickering had left the bag. She came back to see if they were going to catch it, and she doesn't score because of it. That's on her. I hey. will say, wait, wait, Jay, just a second. I want to respond to Robert real quick. That's Robert, what I was going to respond to, yeah. I'll say my opinion first here, Jay. I didn't mind the switch. Patty's been very consistent in the last, I don't know, 
10 games with the lineup, but they struggled a little bit yesterday. Uh, had those innings in a row where they didn't get much. I think Patty Gasso was just saying, let me flip it a little, see if we can ch- switch it up a little. Yeah, but Jeremy, who's one of the hottest hitters on the team right now other than Jada? Tiara Jennings, and she came up in the first inning with two on base and got a hit, Jeremy. I know, but why move so on? Actually, actually, it panned out fine there in the first inning. Yeah. I, I mean, who starts tomorrow? It's got to be Deal, doesn't it? Or Max? They're not going to go back to Maxwell. I think Deal starts. Yeah, I think I, I think was, De- Jeremy, it I could be baffled. Maxwell. I was baffled that she came in at the game tonight. And this is Were actually you? right. They have to struggle offense and pitching, and they only lose by one. And Texas made elite plays all night. But uh, Sydney, I don't know. I would have to ask Gasso. Did you guys tell uh, Cassidy Pickering there are two outs? I'm sure that was said. To me, that's on Pickering. Now, one thing that didn't get brought up, Jay, is I wonder if she thought she left early. Who, Pickering? I wonder if Pickering thought felt like she left earlier, so she went, went back. back. Just, I mean, possibly. Yeah, Robert Texas is going to throw their ace tomorrow for sure. And you're right, Sydney. The base running it hurt him tonight. It 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 you cost him a say run, it, Jay. Cost him a run. Maybe it was a big thing, part of the game. But oh, you was lucky to be down just two to one in that last inning. I mean, well, I, I didn't. I, I also kind of question, like Monticelli, was she ready for that? I mean, that was a that's a big situation. Her control was bad tonight. Uh, Texas, Ron, you're right. Texas won the game. They deserved to win the game. OU didn't uh, hit uh, like they usually, but I will say this. Two outs, two strikes. Kenzie Hansen delivers again and Riley Boone again. Like, it took everything for Texas to still come out and win that game. OU could have uh, ended up winning that game somehow, especially after that debacle. Uh, uh, in the bottom of the six, where it was four to one with no outs, really. OU needs to come back tomorrow, have a great game, get the bats going because the bats have not uh, got going this series at all. So I uh, need to get them going for sure and end this series, win the series, not lose the series, man. Yep, Sydney. And uh, I, I agree. Kenzie Hansen's been really, really clutch too. The other loss was to uh, Louisiana. Louisiana, correct. Uh, and Jay, I was curious. It's and also on ESPN Plus. Hey, it's on ESPN Plus too. Yeah. Hey, it's on ESPN Plus. Mark, listen. Let, Braden thinks deal goes tomorrow. I think it's deal with the star. If not, it may be Kelly Maxwell again. Jay. Yeah. I, I was going to ask the viewers. Obviously, OU lost to Louisiana. You have to go back to last year when they lost to Baylor. I can't remember which game that was of the series. When was the last time OU was in danger of losing a series? Like two in a row or something. Well, they've only lost three games in two years, so it's been a Right, while. so. Hey, Bobby, Marcus Wimbling did commit today. Uh, he is going to – he's kind of a – I kind of agree with what Bobby says here about moving him probably closer to the line to safety. I mean, uh, I also think – what does that do with Jonah Williams? I think that – I mean – Chances are, unless, I mean, they'll make a spot for him, like Bobby said on the Discord today, but a chance of getting him probably not going to happen. But Marcus Wimberley, four-star, really, really good player in Arkansas, man. Yeah. Uh, got him over Oregon, Arkansas, so uh, good player. It is on ESPN+, Plus, but Mark's saying it won't show up if you don't have it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you, it will. Gray God Cheetah would be a great spot for him. Who said fire? What? What? Someone said something about fire patty. Wow. Uh, um, I got to be a joke. Actually, hey, Rafe, Carly Keeney did get out of that. Uh, now, they did uh, get that long ball that ended up coming back because of the early leaving. But I will say that Carly Keeney does have a really good screwball uh, that goes inside to righty. She got the jam uh, on that hitter who hit it to uh, Avery Hodge that inning. But look. Overall, tonight was not a pitching uh, issue. They just could not score enough runs when they needed them. I mean, hey, I, uh, I see this comment. ESPN broadcast extreme bias cannot contain their breathless giggling at the Texas win. Here's what I'll say. Exactly. Oh, guys, a lot of people want OU to lose. It's not just ESPN. I mean, 
people get tired of winners always winning. I will say this, though. You go back to the Tiger Woods Day in golf. Uh, what OU softball has done for women's college softball, uh, it's raised the game. It's raised everything. The the production has raised the, the fandom, everything. So you would think I, – I don't think ESPN broadcasters – I like the crew that did tonight's game. I like them a lot. I like, I know I might be one of the few, but I like them a lot for the world series. And I think they're, they're really good, but. Uh, yeah. Hey, it, it may just be through Longhorn network. I, I, I don't know. They, they ch- could have changed that. I, I don't know, Mark. So it may be something you got to listen to playing. We got Marcus, bash. Marcus Wimberly. Correct. Jay committed today. Ron, I've got to ask you a serious question. And I want to see it. it are, are you absolutely uh, joking? Because you have to be to say fire. He's passing. joking. He's it, it was joking, Jeremy. Come on. It was not a pitching issue tonight, though. It wasn't. Hey, there you go. That's a great idea, Teresa. That's perfect. Hey, Cracker Mac, any good basketball news? Uh, the news is uh, Jalen Moore is going to test the waters of the NBA. I think he's coming back. I don't think he will go to the NBA, but I don't. I'm not. In the know as well. So we'll, we'll see. I, I don't think he's going to be a Sooner. We'll see. Uh, I, I think he's going to the NBA, and if he doesn't get drafted, he's going to play overseas for more money than he would get NIL at OU for sure. Hey, what did, I, what did I miss here from Gray God and, and Bobby? It says, who you think the third is outside Trent and Hawkins? Are you talking about the next commit? Because those two are committing on April 10th, which yeah, is, is that Wednesday. It's, it's Wednesday, Jay. Correct. I love Brad Nessler. No, not one of these. Not one of not these. one of the three from tonight. Mendoza, yeah, she's not uh, an OU player. No. I I didn't. Hey, I, I absolutely, agree, Kenneth. Kenneth, I agree. It wasn't biased, but listen, hey, and I also agree that every fan across the nation, uh, softball fan. Got exactly what they wanted. I said this in the instant reaction video. Not all you fans. Every softball fan outside of Norman, Oklahoma, that's not a no you fan, got what they wanted. An exciting game, and the giant was taken down. Yeah. On a, but the on Giants going to show back up tomorrow and probably put a whipping on the Longhorns. On okay? a great play, by the way. Great play. And Texas is a good team, top five team. So it's basically about like a team you're going to play in the World Series. I mean, that's that was probably a preview of the World Series of the championship game. Yeah, I am not worried about OU softball one bit, guys. Yeah, not, I'm not at either. All. Who's I'm not worried about them. No, all. not at all. That's what I'm saying. I agree with you guys that are saying that. Yeah, I'm not worried. Hey, at all. Ron, the fact of the matter, Ron, is this is what's going to happen. It happened in, in women's basketball with UConn when they were so dominant. Other teams got to figure things out and get better. That's what the game wants. That's how you grow the game. You you get parity. So, hey, was anyone else sick of the horn, though? Yeah, for the first two games, I've been sick of it. The horn is annoying, man. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. unreal. Right. Yeah, I'm I agree. Confident. We'll bounce back tomorrow, baby. Yeah, uh, so. Kelly Maxwell is better than all the. T- Here's what I'll say though: the Texas pitchers so far in this series have been really good. I mean, look at what they've done to OU; been pretty good, right? Yeah, but the weird thing is OU's not striking out much. No, it's but they're not—they're not, they're not what they usually are. I agree, one Blero. It, it, it is kind of bush league. I, I agree. Yes, they have incoming pitchers. Number one in the pitchers. nation, pitcher. So, nothing to be worried about, guys. Nothing. Hey, li- listen. OU allowed two runs, though. It wasn't like they went out and allowed 10 runs. Yeah. You'll see her tomorrow, Uncle Charlie. She'll be starting tomorrow, I guarantee. She's got some velocity, but she changes speeds. No, hey, listen. I know what the rule is, uh, Gerald Miller. I understand the rule, okay? And I understand... They, they say it's a dead ball. I get it. I just think it's stupid. If, if somebody gets a hit and the run scores and the runner's behind him, I don't think it should matter. That's just my opinion. Yeah. And Audrey Lowry is the number one pitcher in the nation. And, yes, 
she going to be elite? Yeah, Ella in the. Hey, Ella watch was out not for in the, the three. Ella was in the two hole. Two hole, yeah. Ella Park was in the two hole. Burrito no, was in the three. I think this, I think this is a no. I think she's not uh, where she wants to be. Uh, what would you say about? Uh, gosh, what was I going to get to? There was a comment. Uh, hey, let, let me say something. Oh, about the OSU series is going to be a tough one, too. It will be, uh, but I'll say to Juan Blero, she kept the ball down a couple times to some of the OU hitters, and they just barely missed it. She did keep the ball down today, and I want to go back to the comment. I got to go find it here. Uh, it was right back. Oh, right here, Robert. They'll be the greatest seniors of all time, Robert. L listen, if they win four in a row, no one can ever – if if they win four in a row, there is zero chance, zero, that any senior in the next thousand years can say, we're a better senior class than that OU oh, one. They won four – they did any, everything you could do, they did. Four yeah. in a row. Hey, well, speaking of football a little bit, though, what about Sam Bradford, man? I didn't see it, Jay. Looks like he was back there for the Heisman hangout. And, hey, I am super excited to see that he's kind of coming back around the pro. He, he was kind of quiet there for a while. And I know he's got kids and probably coaching them and, and doing all that stuff. But it's good to see, man. And Sam Bradford's just a legit dude. Jay, what was the final on the uh, – is that game over, Alabama-UConn? No, it's still going on, I think. Hey. What score? Yeah, Sam Bradford sighting, and I don't know what the score is. Jeremy, I'm on a live. Uh, Gray God says Bradford looks like he could still see. He did. I thought the same thing, Gray God. I was like, dang, put some shoulder pads on him. How about QB coach, baby? Yeah. Wait, it looks like Sooner Cowboy doesn't think OU, OU softball's got enough this season, which is – they've lost two games. Texas lost four. And, and listen – for I think Jay Johnson said something about oh, oh this oh, this Texas team lost to OSU twice yeah probably because Texas was really caring about one series right now now OSU beat them but we, we can't get in the comparison game guys because anyone compared to OU softball is is way worse right now yeah Texas has six losses sorry I said four six hey Big Orange I'm ready for that matchup in Norman hope you're going to be there. Uh, UConn Purdue title game. It looks like, I think UConn wins that, running away by ten or more. Yep, the doom and gloom. It's one loss. Uh, and the good thing about softball is you don't wait a week. You get to go back tomorrow, the next day. Sydney, this is some great info. Sam could have played in the NHL, couldn't his hockey coach. Hey Jay, uh, someone said seven tomorrow, two o'clock, isn't it? It's an afternoon game, yes. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock. <clears throat> uh, hey, Rafe, I agree. And listen, Texas had to have almost everything go right for them to win, and it did, and they deserved it. They made heck, heck of defensive plays all night. 1 p.m. tomorrow. There you go. I thought it was 2. 1 p.m., 2 Eastern. I think I said 2 earlier, too, so. My uh, fault. My hey, fault. I was wrong. You know what's funny, Ron? Arkansas is having a tough time finding the coach. Because everyone thought they're going to go get Chris Beard. Nope. Then everyone thought they're going to go get Jerome Tang. Nope. Hey, South uh, Carolina is the better team, but I hope Caitlin Clark gets it done. Yeah, I do too. I hope Iowa wins that game for sure. Hey, I'm going to say something because I think the live was over last night before that game, wasn't it? Yes. Big kudos to Gino Oriyama. Why is that? Four seconds, they called the foul, which was a foul. She extended her elbow, and Gino Oriyama did not go rip the official. He was mad at his own player because he has high expectations. Did you hear the post game? What? Did you hear his post game? Not all of it. About that? What, time and place of calling it? It sounded like he was kind of whining about it. Was he not? I'm talking about during the game, he didn't go berate the official. Well, it sounded like he was whining about it after the game. Well, I'm sure he was upset, but I'm just talking about how he reacted, Jay. 
Hey, what do you think about Marcus Wimberly commit for OU today? I think he's the type of guy you want, Jay, because he's uber did, athletic. Did you he's see got, what his quote was for choosing OU, what he said? He's got great size. Do you see what he said about On his Twitter OU's? what? Quote. It was basically culture. So he, the reason I bring that up is a lot of people are bashing how it's always talked about culture. But a lot of the recruits that come to OU, that's what they say. The reason they came was culture. So you, you got to talk about it, don't you? It's helping get recruits. Yeah, it is. Is Jackson Arnold the real deal, Jeremy? We know your thoughts on this. Yeah, you know my thoughts, guys. He is absolutely the real deal. And every time I see a video of him, I get more excited about uh, the game this year and, and what he's going to look like. Third loss versus Texas since 2014. Other one was in 2022, and it ended up with a natty. Another natty for Patty. Correct. Uh, yeah, May pitched pretty good, I thought, tonight. I mean, she did have the, the one inning. I think it, sometimes she struggles when they get they see her a couple times. I mean, she's pitched for four years. People know her stuff. I mean. Absolutely. The culture is for real, baby. Hey, when you say no closer, technically last year they didn't have a closer, but they could have put ball time as a closer. But she really wasn't the closer uh, when it got into playoffs and in the World Series. Yeah, she basically took the ball and never gave it back. Hey, Lori, it's a great one. Also, if you ever eat crumble cookies, their carrot cake cookie is unbelievable. I'm just going to tell you, unbelievable crumble cookies. Check it out. Uh, hey, let me get the trivia real quick for the night. Before we do, go check out FanStop, FanStop.com. Use code SIRS, 10% off your first three months. Uh, and great looking shirts. Sign up for the Shirt of the Month Club. You will not be disappointed. Uh, here we go, trivia for the night. Sam Bradford. Um, all I want to know is in 2008, what was his highest point total? What game was it? Uh, who were they playing? I mean, not point total. Most passing yards, sorry. Most passing yards in a game, the single game, 2008, what game was it? What team was it against? You know it, Jerm? Not, no, not Texas Tech. I have a guess, but it'd be 468 a yards. 468 yards, not Tech. Hey, Jay, well, there's Poncho. Jack, haven't. Hey, Poncho Jack, what were your thoughts on the game tonight? Yeah, Poncho says two losses. Nobody in the nation has two losses. OU is still clearly them one. Absolutely they are. Not Texas. Not Texas A&M. Most passing yards of the game, who was it against for Sam Bradford? 2008. Not Baylor. Hey, there's no chance OU drops the number two. Kansas. There it is, Bobby Wiley. Is there, Jay? I think Bobby got it first, Kansas. What's that? No chance OU softball's dropping number two. I don't think so, no. You can't. There's no now, one else. If they lose tomorrow, they will. I just can't believe, and honestly, Jay, that two strikes, two outs, Kenzie Hansen did it again, and then Boone does her thing, and they nearly won the thing again. That's unbelievable. Yep. Bats so, got passive, yep. The bats... Yeah, and they just barely missed on some, Jay. I will say this, too, that they are – Texas is pitching OU inside a lot. Have you noticed that? Yeah, they're trying – well, that's because OU goes so well to the opposite that's field. That's what I'm saying. They, they've been throwing the ball inside quite a bit on the inside it, part of the play. It's probably the way to, to do it. And, and listen, someone compared them to Jocelyn all those years when they had four or five – I'll take that. As long as you win a natty – None of these games matter if OU wins an Addy. Yeah. So, Is that Coleman the best player on the team, Jerem? No, it's arguably the best. I yeah. think Tiari Jennings could be the best. Uh, I, if I had to choose two, it's Jennings or Coleman. And they're pretty much right there. Right there together. Mainly because of what they can do on, on both sides. Of the uh, you got offense and defense. Hunter. I don't know if Hunter can drop in here, but... Does Wimberley with the Wimberley uh, 
uh, commit. Oh, you still at five? I, I would think hey, they are. But. When did I say OU's never losing a game again? I picked them to go undefeated. Yeah. Yes, you did. It, it didn't mean I, I – okay, I was wrong. I'm not pumping my brakes on this team. My, It's all gas right now to a fourth natty, okay? This team's winning four in a row. There's no doubt. It took everything for Texas to beat them once. We'll see if Texas wins tomorrow. If Texas beats them tomorrow, you might have to really pump the brakes. It's not happening. Hey, have a good day at church tomorrow, Lori. Saw your comment. Have a good day there. I was wrong, Chuck. Someone beat them. Yeah, that's they're not why. Gonna lo they're not losing the best of three uh, in the Women's College World Series. Promise you. Well, you can't promise us anything, Jeremy. You don't know. No. My opinion, Jay. But you can't promise us anything. I was using that language, Jay. You said promise you. Yeah. Okay, I'll never make a statement again. Yeah, let's talk some football. Cracker Mac, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk football. I'm fine with that. What you got, Cracker Mac? Jay, compare yeah. Jackson Arnold right now to another quarterback. Go. Another college quarterback? College or pro? Um, gosh, he's played one game. Um, you're going to give me a second to think about it because he's played one game that I've seen him. So, Aaron Rodgers, Sooner fan says, come on now. I wonder, what the si I wonder what the size is. Are we doing this, two? really? Are we comparing him to Aaron Rodgers? I, Jay, when I say compare, I'm talking about what, what you think he's got arm strength, physically, things like that. Okay. Um, Big has got – what is he? 6'1", Jay, right? Yeah. He's taller than Baker Mayfield was. Well, a comparison, Sooner fan, Aaron Rodgers won the greatest to ever play football. I, We're comparing arm strength and style of play, I said. So he has he has as good as arm as Aaron Rodgers already, you think? It's arguable, Jay. How? Um, okay. Um, yeah, there's I'm not, not a whole lot of film. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but Jay, uh, I'm talking about style. What you think who you think he plays like? Well, I mean, he's got a little bit of a... I mean, I could see the Aaron Rodgers thing because he's going to throw it in the in the tight spots. I, I could see that if that's what you're saying. Yeah, and one thing Aaron Rodgers does really, really good, Jay. Aaron Rodgers is not a, a great scrambler, but he extends plays really, really good. Aaron Rodgers will stick in the pocket. He'll get outside and he'll make the plays off his other foot, thrown across his body. Favre's another one that does that. I think Brett Favre, people have compared him to Brett Favre in that sense. Yeah. How about more athletic Sam Bradford? That's actually Grey God. I actually like that comparison. Yeah. Now, I off, the, like field, that, off the field, he's probably louder, but I don't know. He seems kind of reserved in some ways, maybe like a Bradford was. Yeah, he's definitely more mobile than Bradford. Is he going to be as accurate as Bradford? Uh, Bradford was pretty accurate, Jay. Yeah, Alan, I agree. Alan from Columbia. He is more mobile than Bradford. Again, Jay, I think where people are – this is great. This is absolutely great. I think the comparison of Josh Allen is really good. I think that's a great comparison. I think people are going to be very surprised with Jackson Donald's mobility, escape ability, uh, and scrambling ability, Jay. Is he quicker than Baker? Yes. Yes, he is. And he's bigger than Baker. He's harder to bring down than Baker, I think. Yeah, Josh Allen's a lot taller. That's right, Hunter. Half yeah, a foot? I see the comparison. Wait, wait. You think Josh Allen is 6'6"? Six, six? I think he's about 6'5". Oh, I thought Josh Allen was 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, hey, Tops. Rock, 9-3 and three is my prediction. Yeah, that's mine too. 9-3 and three playoffs. Hunter says Josh Allen is 6'5", and what's Jackson Arnold, 6'1"? 
Yeah, it's about almost half a foot. It's four inches. That's a third of a foot, yeah. Jackson Arnold reminds me of Jackson Arnold. That's great. There you go, Mike. That's great. Is Arnold 6'1 or 6'2, though? I don't know. I mean, probably 6'1, I think. Danny Hurley. Man, is there a guy that looks any different than him from when he has his glasses on and off? No, it's pretty. No, we're not arguing, Stubby. We're not arguing, Stubby. Sometimes we just, hey, we argue off of lives. We call probably 10 times a day with each other and argue about things. It's kind of what we do. We love it. UConn versus Purdue. Who you got? UConn. I got Zach Eady. I don't think he's going to be beat. 6'1", 205. There you go. Wait. Sooner fan, so you're 6'2", and over 205 then, right? Hey, do you think – I was watching some highlight tape of Gavin Salchuk. Are people sleeping on him a little bit? Yes, they always sleep on Salchuk, Jay. Well, you and, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why in just a second. Of, I'll what? tell you why, Jay. First off, I did not see Haley Van Lith enter the portal from LSU. Yeah, she entered the portal. She did. It's official. Yeah. Man, what? Mulkey, that why? Mulkey situation. She's gonna get paid somewhere, though. I promise you. Uh, Jay, here's why people sleep on Salchuk. He is really fast, Gray God, and people don't think he is. That's why people sleep on Sawchuck. He doesn't wow you with things, but he's fast. He's tracked fast. He runs so effortlessly, people don't think he's given effort. Yeah, I think he's going to be really good, actually. I think he's going to have an outstanding year. Uh, Jay, Hunter, who's number 20? Samuel Franklin? Yes. He's looked pretty good, Jay. Well, I think he, I think Hicks looks good. I think I just said that because of what we said the other night. But I, I've seen him run running the ball quite a bit. And I tell you, Javante Barnes, I, I don't know what he's gonna look like. I have seen him make a couple good cuts that I maybe haven't seen in the seen in the past. He's able to cut on a dime. That tells me he's at least healthy. That's all I'm saying on that one. Yeah, but I got to see it at the spring game. I, I need to see if if Barnes has that explosive that he had freshman year. You know what I mean? The, yeah, and the only concern about Sawchuck to me, guys, is, is listen. Sawchuck was very good, almost like Kennedy Brooks-esque, at being patient before he exploded through the hole. Here's the problem. If the line is not as good, that could get you in trouble. Well, I mean, Where, yeah. Whereas a guy who can just hit the hole right off the bat when the line's not good. If the line's good, it's really good to do that. Mm -hmm. I love Hicks a lot, Alan. I, I do. I really, really like him. And we haven't even seen Tatum yet. He hasn't even been there yet. Wait, I mean, right? Correct. Taylor Tatum probably doesn't find his way on the field this year. Uh, because of who they have or because he's coming in late? Because of who they have and he's coming in late. Both. I'll take both. Dalpos, I, I would agree with this a lot, Dalpos 83. OU did not throw enough to running backs. Saul Chuck can catch well. And again, I'm trying to – they didn't even send him out to the uh, flat very much. Now, here's the problem. If – now, Marcus Major had some catches in big plays, but – if you got to keep a running back back for protection, you, you lose something there. I, I hope they don't have to do that. Uh, here's the deal. I want to get to this with Stubby. Before we do, I want to say something. I think, personally, Taylor Tatum is going to be the highest drafted OU running back in quite some time when he's done at Oklahoma. I do. In the Major League Baseball draft? No. Oh, okay. Football, running back. I think I he's that, that because he plays baseball. No, I think he's that good. Um, Stubby. Stubby brought it up. Is this the time to be a hater about the OU offensive line? 
Here's what I'm going to say to that hand that, tug. At, at this time, I mean, with the inexperience, I think it's fair to have some judgment or some opinions about it. And I've heard other people talking about it saying, and Bill beat him, Bowie trust. And hey, there's a lot of guys there. And I've said it all along, Jay. I like the guys who are there size wise. Size wise, oh, you can put some dudes out there that can match uh, all that stuff. That you can check that box off. They have size. They do lack experience. That concerns me some is the lack of experience. Size wise, I'll check that box off with this group. Hey, one thing I'm interested to see is one of my biggest complaints about Jeff Levy's offense. I don't think that for wide receivers, I don't think they ran a whole lot of, what do you want to say? I don't think there was a ton of route cons, like just, just over the top stuff. It seemed like it was pretty basic. Did it not? Yeah. And I've got my opinion on that. You know, it Lance go over. I mean, it wasn't enough. I, that's one thing I thought Lincoln Riley was really good at. Yeah. And, hey, Samuel, Monty's right. Samuel Franklin, if you do go watch some of it, Jay, he is really good out of the backfield. That's true. And he's an older guy, so he, he's he been – he's played a lot. I think he's, I think he's a good blocker. That's right, Mark. When you play Levy, it's all you got to do. Uh, Uncle Charlie, I think they would be facing much more elite defensive linemen in the SEC than they did in Big 12. That's true. Yeah. That's a fact. Fact. And, and look, Stubby's going to go watch some Sooner softball highlights. First inning was good, but you also saw some bad things in the first. But I can't wait for tomorrow. I want this OU team to just trounce the Longhorns. Be nice. I think they will. They're not going to struggle three games in a row in a lot of innings hitting, I don't think. But I could be wrong. I have been before. And you guys will make sure you call me out. We can talk anything y'all want to talk about. Hey. Jay. Yeah. The Texas – I mean, I have not watched enough of Texas, but that had to be their best defensive game. Had like, I, th there's no way they probably played a better defensive game than tonight. Had to be. Um, made six or seven plays. Um, Pat Sajax, last will of fortune, June seventh. Who's replacing him? Do they know yet? I've not heard. But Jay, what about Riley Ludlam? I what thought she him? might pinch. I thought she might pinch it tonight. She didn't get in. Didn't get in. She nope. hasn't been in either game, has she? Nope. You know, we, we were talking about the rule that I, I don't like in softball. What is one rule in college football you would change? Oh, is it Ryan Seacrest? Really? Oh, that's a great No hire. way. I think that's great. That's a great hire. Um, one rule you would like to see change in college football. I've already said it, Jay. Hunter says pass interference. Expand on that, Hunter. Hey, I'm going to say defense volume, but Rafe was saying he was going to go to bed. Uh if we're done talking softball, listen, I will say this, Ray. We're going to start having at least one softball live uh, at a different time. We'll make sure you're following our, our channel. Uh, that way you're notified when we do those, especially as we get closer to playoffs or World Series, things like that, regionals, all that stuff. To me, the one rule you have to change in college football is the injury rule when, when the faking of the injuries has to be changed, has to be done ASAP. It's yeah, I, I agree with I agree with that one, Jay. But defensive holding is atrocious. It can't be fourth and thirty-five, and I grab a guy, and it's an automatic first down. That that is unbelievable. Yeah, appreciate that, Stubby. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that comment, Stubby. Help us out by subscribing, by liking, yeah, or lot, if you want to, you, you want to take the next step, you can become a Sooner Surge Unlimited member and join our Discord. Description um, has the links. Hey, twenty-five breakdown. That's actually a good idea. That's a Ray. good idea. It's a good Pass idea. It should be a spot foul. Do you like that one? Mm. That's like NFL, Jay. I don't like that either. 
to me, that's very rewarding of the offense. All right, M Mike says fake an injury, lose a timeout. I, I would think I would say this: fake an injury. I don't care if you're faking an injury or not. If it's a player, the series, if a player gets injured, they have to sit out that series. Well, I was actually going to say, Jay, sit until the other team gets a first down. That's what I'm calling a series. Yes, that's right. That's what I'm calling a series. Yeah, and. Hey, I, I want to get to Kenneth too, but first, Sydney, you're right. Th they didn't even mention the fact that she went back to tag. And no. Sydney, I'm just curious. Did you think maybe she went back thinking she left early? Because that's like, the only thing I can think of. She had to have known it was two outs, right? Had to have. They hadn't been saying it. She might have thought she left but early. Jeremy, if she left early, it doesn't matter. She's out whether she goes back or not. You see what I'm saying? That is true. Yeah, that's true. She must have went back. She must have just freshman play, bonehead freshman play. Kenneth, I agree. Over the top more. They should have play action more. But if you don't run as much zone read, uh, listen. A lot of that zone read, you fake the handoff. You see if the linebacker's committing, and you hit the slant route. That's a lot of where the zone read passes are. Hey, that's why, Bobby, this is why I'm saying it doesn't matter if it's a fake or not. If you injure and you go out of the game, then you're out that series. That's the only way you can police it, right? Yeah. Hey, Ray, uh, Cassidy, all of them seem sometimes robotic. But, yeah, Cassidy Pickering hit two really, really good balls. Uh, she played yeah. well. It was just, yeah, that one hurt. Yeah, exactly, Dalpost. We didn't throw to the tight end at all. Didn't even know we had one. We kept calling for Stogner. Everyone did. They was a shell of himself, but they never looked to him. That'll be different this year. Fanstop says. Oh, sorry. And then, Jay, you can explain the play. Fanstop says, I think the ball control will very be very important in this upcoming season. Levy's offense seems to have too many, uh, too many That's three That's true. Tackles. You can't have three and outs. You've got to you've got to have time of possession a little more. Mess. Yeah. You Jay, do. That's why I think. It. That's why I think this offense. May, maybe they don't put up as many points, but situationally they're going to be better. Uh, what was I explaining? Uh, the play. The, Which the play? softball play. Listen, Mez. It Which was second play? and third. It was second and third. Two outs. First inning. Tiari Jennings is up. She hits a blooper. Uh, the runner on third immediately scores. Cassidy Pickering was on second. When the ball was hit, she left second to run to third. She saw the ball was in the air and it may be caught. She goes back to tag, but the ball lands. She only advances to third base, could not score on that when she should have been full-blown heading home as soon as the contact was made. Stubby says Dylan Gabriel will be missed. I disagree, but... I do agree with Fanstop 100%. Absolutely, Dow Poes. You're right. Fanstop is where it's at. Check it out. Use code SURGE. 10% off your first three months. Get on board with the Shirt of the Month Club. You will not be disappointed. Now, many are going to be disappointed in Dylan Gabriel leaving like Stubby here. I, for one, am not. I'm ready for the Jackson Arnold era. I was ready the minute DG uh, left. I was you were ready. ready you were ready. Jerry. I was ready before that. I was ready about game two last year. That's right. Yeah, Damon. Damon. Yeah. She has struggled. I, I that agree. last hit, she thought she had to hit it. That girl made a heck of a play. Lebby had only one receiver target. Seventy. No, Dylan Gabriel did. Well, part of it was Lebby too. It was both. It was both. I agree. It was both. So. Kenneth says the rule of when the ball is short is a five yard short of being caught. Yeah, and what they're trying to keep away from is face guarding, but I guess you got to play the ball. And, and here's, an, here's another rule that's got to be changed tomorrow, and I think maybe they are changing it. When you fumble it at the one yard line going in and it's a touchback, I hate it. Hate it. Jay, I hate it. I agree with you, Jay. That ball, but, maybe you lose 10 yards or something, but you do not get the ball over to the other team. And no, you can't, you can't. What's this, Jay? Any truth to the rumor I heard about little brother running? 
You're talking about Ollie Gordon. No, it's April Fool's. That was an April. First, I didn't know what you were talking about. That's Ollie Gordon you're referring to. No, it's April Fool's. He's not leaving OSU. Uh, yeah, a couple things here before we close it. Screen pass to the running back. Sydney's right. A true screen pass. I would love it, Sydney Green Street. Sometimes you don't really see those uh, screen passes like that, a traditional screen pass. I'd love to see it. Chuck says, are you guys excited about the new commit? Yes, I am. Four-star safety, cheetah, whatever you want to call him. Marcus Wimberly is a really going to be a really, really good player. I think his stock rises even more up this year. I think he's going to have an outstanding senior year. Yeah. I'm going to try to go up and watch him this year. Chuck, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about the new commit. Uh, and we'll get uh, – are they going to make the hip lock tackle a penalty? They are in the NFL. Usually it trickles right. down. Yeah, that's right. Four star through rivals, others will too. The shuttle pass or the shuffle pass, shovel pass. People call it different things. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm definitely not a hater, Chuck. I'm not a hater. Uh listen, please check out. We had an instant reaction video immediately after the softball game. If you haven't watched it yet, sooner surge, we give our thoughts on uh that game. The next game tomorrow, one o'clock. Uh, we'll have a, a pregame go out in the morning and then instant reaction after that. And as always, we'll be here at live at 930 on Sunday night to talk to you, the greatest viewers on earth. Surgeaholics love having you on here every single night. We'll see you all tomorrow. Again, if you haven't, check out the fan stop, fanstop.com. Also, look at the links in the description uh, for some other opportunities for you to join the Sooner Surge uh, channel uh, as an unlimited, as, as a member of our channel and other things in the description. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for the prayers for our dad. We'll see